The sun was setting as Parchia watched the carnage that lay before him. He scanned his surroundings, then he noticed a huge dust cloud up north. He thought to himself, this battle is yet to be finished. As he finished his thought, he ordered his troops to reorganize, and he gathered all the party leaders in his army and spoke. Everyone, it seems that an army is headed towards us. I received word from our scouts that they will be coming from the north and they number over a thousand. And there's an army over 200 sitting idle to the east. Yes, it does seem that the odds are against us, but before you think of retreat, let me remind you of what they will do if we let them be. They will head straight into our lands, pillage our villages, burn our cities, rape our women, and slaughter our children. Are we going to leave them be and value our own lives for the downfall of our lands? Is that what you want? No. Although I value my life, I value our people even more. And as such, I will readily offer my life if it means they will be discouraged to head for our lands. So men, tonight, I say we face our enemies and stop them in their tracks. We will not let up by their numbers. So brace yourselves, my brothers, for tonight we will stop the Kuzate Horde. Let heaven resound our battle cry and let our blood give glory to the Asari. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another chapter in the adventures of Partia al Eat in Bannerlord. Indeed, if there was ever a time for our hero to have a resolute mind, it is now. An army of a thousand strong is barreling towards him, and not only is it an army a thousand strong, but the horde is being led by none other than Monchug himself, the leader of the Kuzate. This could be a golden opportunity for Partia not just to turn the tide of the war, but perhaps bring it to an end. Beyond that, Partia knows that he must stand his ground here today, and not just that, he must win today. Because if he doesn't, then tomorrow, this very same army will be ravaging the homelands. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bannerlord. This is going to be a very tense episode, folks. Not only do we have this tremendous battle ahead of us, the reality is that even if we win it, it might be so pyrrhic a victory that uh, even the smaller armies around us might end up proving a decent challenge, a decent threat. We're only 800 strong. It could go really terribly. And again, even if we win, we could be put into a terrible situation. We are deep in enemy territory. Erzunur Castle is the closest place we can call Sanctuary, but even then, deep in enemy territory. We don't know how close reinforcements are. All we know is that home is very far away. So uh, definitely a stressful session ahead of us. First things first, battle preparations, right? Partia will inspect his troops and ensure that those that can be better equipped will be better equipped. And he has to make sure that the formations are all set appropriately. So let's go ahead and get Alkyria, Ferdina, and Dula into our cavalry. Our Asari tribesmen will be put separately into their own little formation. And if you're wondering why Alkyria, who's typically with our horse archers, is all of a sudden with our cavalry, it's because Partia is going to be testing out a bit of a gamble. Yes, this is very much a gamble. See, high-tier Asari cavalry are actually horse archers. However, they're equally capable in melee with one-handed weapons. So... Is it really a good idea to try to outshoot some of the best horseback archers that this land has ever known? No, probably not. So instead, Partia is going to have all of his cavalry join in on the melee. And his hope is that we're able to close the gaps into Kuzait horseback archers. We're able to prevent them from firing. We're able to cut them down. If we're able to do that, then we will basically diminish the one real advantage the Kuzate have in an open field battle. It's a gamble. Will it pay off? We're about to find out, right? Definitely a risk. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, on that same kind of note, I do want to take a look at some of our inventory options. Uh, in fact, Fridina is able to upgrade some of her armor. We can get her some better shoes. Um, 
go ahead and get her these worn reinforced suede boots. And we can also get Dula some better shoes as well if we go ahead and get her these wrapped leather boots. In terms of armaments, they're all fine as well. Dula's got her spear. I've got my Mamluk lance that hopefully I will use to good effect. The shields. I wish I had better shields, but I don't is the reality. Uh, we do have uh, better uh, horses, though, I think. I think the uh, step horse is, yeah, a bit more maneuverable. So we'll give that to Elkiria so she's able to get in and out of trouble. She's our least effective uh, melee warrior. Uh, and I do believe this harness is better than some of the others we're using. Go ahead and give this to Dula here. I feel like, yeah, we're fine otherwise. Oh, actually, this one's a bit lighter. So let's swap this around. Sure, why not? Okay. Um, that all said and done. I don't believe there's anything else we can really change equipment for. With all that said and done, Partia, you know, as the army is getting ready for this impending battle, he is a man who is most certainly, at this point of time, bold enough to try and sneak a moment with Lady Arwa. Think about it. He's about to ride into what is potentially impending doom. He's just taken Erzunur Castle. He's just won tournament after tournament. He's just so suddenly had so much fortune fall upon him. Not in the sense of luck, but in the sense of wealth and influence. And so he is almost certainly emboldened by all of this and emboldened by the fact that this massive battle is about to take place. So why not sneak a word with Arwa? And again, this is all happening while the army is getting prepared, right? You know, like having some food, sneaking a nap, getting some rest in, because this army is coming towards us, but we have some time to prepare. Partia, it's been a while. Indeed, my lady, a hard day's work taking Erzunur Castle, but worth it. My lady, perhaps we should discuss a future together, if there is one to be had. Yes, very well. I've been thinking about that. I like a warrior who strikes fear in the hearts of his enemies. Are you that kind of man? Well, given the situation we're in, I should certainly hope so, my lady. Uh, my foes may not fear my sword, but they should fear my cunning. I feel like that matches our whole horse archer switcheroo plan. Okay, good. She likes it. Excellent. I'm happy to hear that. My lady, I'm happy to hear you're happy. I think you should try to win my family's approval. 59%, are you kidding me? Uh, I can only hope that if they come to know my loyalty, they will accept me. Again, we're here fighting the Sultan's war, a war that we think might be a little aimless and needless. Nice! Oh! You really only get these two chances. If you fail them, without a mod, you do not get another shot. I'm happy to hear that, she says. Yes, I think I would be honored to accept your proposal. Adram, as head of our family, needs to give his blessing. There are usually financial arrangements to be made. Of course, milady, a dowry. Now, the good thing is, over the last little while, I have been um, buttering up the uh, Banu Saran. Arwa is a part of the Banu, Banu Saran. Initially, we had some friction. I believe there were some disagreements with regards to castles and policies. But by supporting some of their policies recently, I've curried some favor with them, which is good. Because, again, Adram is their head. We can further improve that relationship. Uh, we will look to support them a little bit more among the other clans. Uh, before we have that conversation. At the same time, we're looking to accumulate some wealth. Uh, I'm not going to use the influence just yet because I could need that for, you know, army cohesion or what have you. So we're going to keep that for now. But it is an option to improve relations, you know, bottle them up some more, come in with a decent sum of money, pay a dowry and marry Arwa and then have, uh, you know, a line of succession secured. Oh, that is such a weight off my shoulders. I'm so glad that conversation went well. Uh, however, there's a much bigger weight of a much different kind ahead of me now. Uh, certainly, Partia will feel further emboldened by that conversation. And we're going to dive right in. Again, there's no getting away. We can keep pulling back a little bit to heal some of our wounded, but I don't know how much that would actually gain us. We're better off just facing the enemy head on. Let's go. Into Monchug's army. Partia, if you die well today, I'll be sure your courage is remembered. Monchug, I promise the same for you. I hear you took Erzinur Castle. Indeed. You may fight us, but many of your men will be killed, and you will probably lose. Yield and spare us both the unnecessary bloodshed. Monchug, we'll fight to our last drop of blood. Let the sands turn red. Very well. Expect no mercy.
Okay, folks. Here it goes. <laughs> I'm I'm very concerned. They have a lot of like horse archers and stuff. Uh, this could be very very messy. We have to be very effective. We have to use the terrain to our advantage. Um, we have to do it very cleanly, and I have to stay alive for as long as possible because otherwise it all turns to chaos. Anyway, enough talk. To the battlefield we go. Let's see what we can do. All right, what have we got here? Can't really tell what our situation is looking like. I feel like we might need to pull back a little bit, force our archers on advantageous terrain behind us. Hopefully there is some to be had. Uh, just doing my like little hand stretches over here. We gotta get these orders just right. Otherwise we're in a lot of trouble to begin with. All right, let's do this. Oh, this is really not ideal. This is really not ideal. Um, we can pull back to there. We can get our horse archers moving forward. Let's get you guys pulling back a little bit as well. And let's get my cavalry. Hold on. Arrows fall back. Alright. Where are they? They're coming from over there. Archers are falling back. Our infantry, I suppose, we could send up over there. And our archers could be over here, I suppose. Sure, let's try it. This is really not the best uh, battlefield for us. In we go, though. Let's try and get some damage done here nice and early. One down. Oh, just dodged a stab there. Or a swipe, rather, I should say. Loop back around. What are you doing back there? Keep trying to cause some damage over here. As much as possible, as quickly as possible. Keep our cavalry coming with us. Good stuff, good stuff. Man, they're really falling back, aren't they? Trying to bait us into their archers and stuff, potentially. Pull away, pull away. I don't want to just give them free shots at our cavalry, obviously. Pull back. We'll loop into them. Look at their cavalry trying to make a big break for it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Charging into a rock. Pull around. Let's go. Let's try and intercept their cav. Our archers will hopefully make some quick work of them, but uh, in case they don't, we want to, of course, get in there. Of course, get in there. What am I looking at here? Got a little bit of damage done. We're not having a good time here. Get our archers further back over there. Get you guys further up over there. Let's go. Horse archers are on that side now, so let's go ahead and push into them. Lance down. Let's go. Oh, he's going to get away from me. That's fine. Hopefully our cavalry is with us right now. Oh, just hit him on the shield. Are you kidding me? What are the chances? Down you go. We're taking a little bit of damage as well. More than I would like. In comes our cavalry. Good stuff. Skirmishers are getting some work done. Get in here. Come on. Down goes another raider. Excellent. Down you go as well. Beautiful. Keep at it. Keep at it. We just got to make sure we cause enough damage before we go down. Oh, I can't believe he rolled by me there. Charge in, let's go. These guys got rear access. No, they don't. Good stuff. Our cavalry came in just in time. Let's go ahead and shut down some more of their horse archers, hopefully. Come on. Oh, are you kidding me? We took a bad hit there. Loop back around. This guy's mine, I think. Oh, nope. Just barely missed him. It's okay. Got somebody else instead. Oh, we've taken a lot of damage, haven't we? We've taken a lot of damage. Come on, we gotta cause some more. Oh, I'm very close to their archers, unfortunately. Charging in, come on now. The cavalry, let's go ahead and get them following us. Try and shut down some of their archers, maybe. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, is another thing I need to be wary of. Because we will be in a lot of trouble if I do that. Go ahead and charge in. Let's go, let's intercept some of these soldiers. Good stuff, drop a Sturgeon Hunter, that'll be helpful. All right, let's pull back to support, maybe. Oh, I don't know if we need to, actually. Pull you guys over there. Pull you guys over here, let's go. Gaining ground a little bit. Let's get our cavalry on me. Ah, took a, took a bad hit there, I think. Loop around, loop around, loop around. Still hunting down some of these fools. Good stuff, got a footman. Try and get a nice charge onto that guy. He's he's pretty well equipped. I'd love to drop him. Ah, just hit his shield instead. 
Ah, uh, I got his shield as well. It's okay. Lula, you're doing well. Loop back around again. Try and get some of these guys. Ah, they just swerved. Nice, got you. Get away from them. Pull back around. Need to clear, need to clear, need to clear. There we go, beautiful. That poor man is without a horse. How are we doing? Oh, not very good, not very good. I need to clear my horse of this trouble. Get our infantry up over here. We'll want to get kind of a surround going so we can get some rear charges with our lower tier infantry. That's my plan there. Ah, oh, just missed him. Again, need to be very careful here. Down I go. All right, all right, we're okay still, we're okay still. If I can get onto a horse, we'll be fine. It's got to fall back behind my lines here. Oh, that's dangerous. Very dangerous. Okay, behind the lines. Good, we're good. Got our footmen charging in. Give me a horse, I need a horse. Get our bows higher up. No, I don't think we need to. There's some horses back there I could get on, that'd be great. Let's make sure our cavalry is charging as well, not just following me, because right now they don't need to follow me. I'm not mobile enough. If I can get back to those horses, we'll be good. All right, we're doing well. We're doing well, man, we're doing well. These guys get you into loose formation, please. I think I cacked up some of my orders in the beginning, which is uh, definitely caused me some hurt right now. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I can't use that horse, I'm almost certain. Oh, this horse is pretty badly hurt already. All right, cavalry on me. Cavalry on me, let's go ahead and intercept that fool over there. Hopefully. Oh, he might be... Oh, beautiful. Well done, man. Well done. He's going to try firing at me now, isn't he? Stick to the correct side and we'll be fine. They're so much faster than I am. Oh, and look at their reinforcements barreling through. Need to get out of here. Down I go. This is a very far from safety. Our cavalry is thankfully following through with us. This is not ideal. Oh, another horse up there. I don't think I can ride that one, though, is the problem. Lots of archers over here as well. Can I ride you? Oh, come on, come on, get me on here. Yes, excellent. Need to go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. I need to pull back into safety. I'm very badly hurt, as you can see. I'm very badly hurt. I cannot afford to die. Swing and a miss, we're okay. These guys back up. Archers, let's pull you up over here. Need better vantage points to fire from. Our infantry. You're fine. What are we dealing with here? Send our cavalry charging in. Get some work done, hopefully. They've got a lot of horse archers still. Our archers will hopefully have some clear firing lines now. We've got a couple of lancers back there, it looks like. I'm just playing it a little safe right now. Because I really feel the need. Cavalry, let's pull you back. Let's get you into wedge formation. We'll send you charging in again. Once they get sort of collected back over here. Reinforcements continue to arrive. That's great. Cavalry. Charge in. Let's go. I'll join them on this one. Sword in hand. Ah. Rough, rough, rough. Very rough. It's okay. We got some work done, so that's good. Promising. Our archers are still firing away as well. They kind of have clear shots. Go ahead and send our uh, low-tier infantry in for some charges as well. And I feel like I could send my high-tier infantry in as well, if I'm completely honest. They still have so many reinforcements flowing through, though. It is really a worrying sight. Alright. Cavalry fall back. Infantry, we can send you forward a little bit. What's going on? Footmen, pull you back. Low tier. Hopefully our archers will continue to pepper the enemy, and we'll get some work done that way. Oh, oh. Down goes that nomad. Doubly so. All right, looping back, looping back. Cavalry. Charge in, let's go. A couple of stragglers over here we can maybe take care of. Our archers, are you okay? We could send our archers forward a little bit, I think. Some of them are not firing anymore, which is a problem. They might be out of ammunition, which is a serious problem. All right, still firing away, still firing away. The balance of power is relatively even. Bring our cavalry back. You guys are okay over here. Yeah, we're fine. Archer's still firing, indeed. Come on now, get some work done. Cavalry getting into position. 
How many do they have left? Oh, look at our cab over there. They're probably not having a good time at all. I could send my infantry charging in, but they're in shield wall. I think we're fine where we are. Come on, man. Get back into your lines. Come on. Fall back. Good stuff. Good stuff. In comes that man. All right. Cavalry. Pull up over there. Want to get some side charges in. Let's go. Charge in, charge in from the sides. Good stuff, hopefully. Our archers are hopefully still doing okay as well. Yeah, they are running out of ammunition, though. That is a problem. That is a problem. I'll send you guys in. And let's charge you in as well. Let's go. We've kind of got them on the run, I think. They've got a lot of their weaker infantry up front. So if we can get some work done right now, we might have a huge advantage. If we can drop some of their cavalry, for example, uh, like surround their cav with our infantry and just murder them, that would be huge for us, I think. We've got some of these guys exploring our uh, back lines, which is unacceptable. Loop back around, try and kill this guy. Let's go. Oh, that was close. If he swung at us, that would have been bad. That could have been bad, rather. Come on, man. Ah, there we go. Heavy Lancer down. Beautiful. Infantry, hold your lines. Hold your lines, hold your lines. Archers up. We're pushing them back, I think. Oh, just missed him. Look at those reinforcements still flowing in. It's not an easy fight. Put our cavalry over here. Let's go. Footmen pulled back. Archers up there. Get our low tier infantry over there. All right, how are we doing? How are we doing? Pulling into position. Horse archers are still quite plentiful on their side. Let's get our cavalry to follow me. And charge in, please. We gotta shut down those horse archers. Let's go, let's go. Charge in, charge in. Again, if we can surround the horse archers, if we can drop enough of them to the ground, right? Got you. Get out of here quickly before we get surrounded ourselves. I think our men are doing okay. Balance of power is still in their favor, unfortunately. What are we looking at up over here? The high ground is what we're looking at. Oh, let's get out of here. This is too risky. This is too risky for me. A lot of archers doing a whole lot of nothing. Let's go. Hurry it up. Fine. Let's get you charging in as well, please. Nope. Don't want to risk any dangerous maneuvers right now. We are playing the commander, right? As much as we'd love some personal glory, we have to play the commander. We have to play the commander. Otherwise, again, if we fall, that's it. Our troops will just charge in foolishly. And that would be the end of this battle. Nice, got him once. Ah, didn't get him a second time. Horse archers are gonna start firing at me if I don't get out of here soon. Are you guys back? Arrows up there, let's go. I don't want to move too close to their reinforcing um, spots because then we'll be in trouble. Because as our reinforcements arrive, they'll be falling behind, right? Let's get into position. Our archers are able to fire freely. Seems, yes, good stuff. Oh man, look at these guys. Look at me stuck over here. I've gotta get out of here, gotta get out of here. Oh, nice, I got Abagai. Wonderful. How are we doing? 41 horse archers. If I can bait them close to us and then get some charges in, that would be huge for us. Oh, moving too close to enemy reinforcement zones, I think. Get out, let's get out. Cavalry charging in there, good stuff. Archers are firing away. I wonder if we don't want to get a charge in up there, please. Let's go. And surround them, get everybody in. A lot of archers back there as well, I don't like that. This buddy's chasing after me, I think. Alright, he wants to do the dance. Let's do a dance. Let's do a dance. See if I can't... Uh, He's definitely got the better horse, it seems. Oh, he's given up on the chase. Coward. 
I was gonna say he's got the better horse, but I've got the better skill. <laughs> Famous last words, obviously, but uh, not right now, it seems. Okay, let's go ahead and chase some of these guys down. Sun in my eyes, not helping either. Dropped him, that's good. What are we doing over here? How are we doing over here? We're okay-ish. Pull our infantry back again. Gotta stay in some degree of a formation, right? Some degree of a formation. Oh. Dropped him. Beautiful. Last minute. Okay, we're doing alright. Let's see if we can't drop that guy. Before he gets his charge in over here. Oh, damn. Archers are still doing okay. Where are they firing at? Warriors charge in. Just a bunch of archers left back here, it seems. Dangerous for me and my cavalry contingent, but our infantry, if they close the gaps and get some good kills, then that'll be great. That might be all we need. Our archers are firing away as well. We've got some of their horse archers surrounded. Go ahead and chase after that man over there. And this man over here. Oh, nope. Missed him. Ah, see, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. They've got all their archers back there. Charge in. What are we doing over here? I'm pushing over there. Let's go. Down he goes. Oh, this isn't good. Oh my god, I just dodged that. Did you see <laughs> did you see that? Loop back around. I want to finish this man off. If it's the last thing I do in this battle, I want to finish him off. Let's go. A little bit of damage done. Not enough, though, not enough. Folks, the battle is ours. <laughs> the battle is ours, folks. Let's see if we can't. Oh, he's gonna try and get me still. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Not get overconfident, right? There are still prizes to be won. Kind of left our archers. Oh, how did I not get him there? This guy's been fully surrounded. Come on now. Come on now. Our archers are going to get him before I do. Down he goes. Oh, he's still alive. He's. Oh, no, he's not. Veteran caravan guard. That's what he was. One last horse archer. One last horse archer. Enemies are fleeing. We've won the battle. It's not done yet. It's not done yet. Quick, shut him down. Shut him down. Ah, he's gonna get away. Oh. My. God, folks. Oh my god. I wanna see if I can close the gap to him and... End his career right here. Nah, he's likely gonna get away. Unfortunately, I don't have my... Ah, he's gotten away. Men! Well... Done. Well done. Oh my god. Glory for the Aserai. For Sultan Unkid. But let's see the damage, right? Let's see the damage. 9.1 renown, 7.6 influence, 4.3 morale. That's great. We have 99 troops remaining. Are you kidding me? We're in a lot of trouble. 216 wounded, 484 dead. We're in a lot of trouble. We need to get out of here fast. We managed to kill 641 and wound 380. It's a very good performance. Hakan's party did all right. Arwa's party, mm, okay. My party. Oh, wait, sorry. I'm looking at the wrong number here. Uh, Hakan's party did quite well. Arwa's party did quite well. My party did amazingly. Look at those kills. We lost 29, unfortunately. That's definitely going to hurt. I mean, it already hurts. I've leveled up a couple of things. Fridina has leveled up her polearm capabilities. Oh yeah, this is this is definitely gonna hurt. Oh my god. We took so much damage here. Not my cleanest battle, sure, but uh still we we've won it. We've won it. Now actually, hold on. I got 144 kills. 138 with Nukar, 85 with Thais, Suruk got 163. We did pretty well, you know. Adram did quite well as well. We did pretty well, I would say. We did pretty well. We're not left with much. That's the scary part. All right. We need to get out of here ASAP. Victory is ours. That's great. Let's see what we get out of it. Chaghan. That was a lot of gold. We're at your mercy, he says. Now, this is something I've been thinking about ever since this war began. If we were to get involved, what will we do?
right? Like what I think back to is when that war with the Southern Empire broke out so early on in this Let's Play, we, um, we, we sought sanctuary basically in Kuzate lands, right? They let us travel through their lands with our party. They helped, you know, fed us. They, we, we worked with them on, on various things. There's that, that's the bond of friendship I was referring to, uh, with regards to the Kuzate. And I feel like if I'm here to minimize the needless bloodshed and only only kill when absolutely necessary, for example, to prevent damage to our own ho homeland, we would perhaps release some of these prisoners. I don't think we would take them on as prisoners. Now that comes with its risks, of course. They will still fight us, but our relations with them will improve. Uh, and I feel like from a roleplay perspective, Partia would kind of be um, more forgiving of the Kuzate. You know, as, as an opportunity to be like, listen, this is the this is a matter between sultans. We can still be friends. Um, we, this friction can end, right? That's my thinking. So, Taghan, you fought well. You're free to go. Thank you. I must remain your enemy, but I am grateful nonetheless. Beautiful. Look at that smile. Just the one for us, 74 prisoners. It'll slow us down so much. It'll slow us down so much. Look at how much damage we took. The tribesmen, we can kind of level up. Uh, Asurai archers, we can level a few of you up. Good. Just trying to get everybody in a position where if we get attacked again, <laughs> at least we have uh, something to our name. Oh my god. <laughs> I think we got 5k in that, uh, in that plunder. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, it's over our limit, but not the end of the world. Lots of stuff picked up over here as well. Lots of stuff picked up over here. Oh my god. Mind if I do? Paid 825. For, oh yeah, that's for the upgrades. My, my head is like all over the place right now. 107. 107 is all we've got. We need to get out of here. We need to we need to get out of here. We're very slow. Uh, we could make our way to Erzinur Castle to try and recover the 255 wounded. But I think we're actually better off pulling back. We might lose. In fact, we're almost definitely going to lose Erzinur Castle. But it's either that or our heads, right? So uh, let's go ahead and pump up our cohesion a little bit. And make our way out of here. Uh, let's go as quickly as possible. A lot of these prisoners escaping. I mean, I could go to Erzinur Castle to drop off these prisoners. Oh, I don't like this. This is bad. Halt there. So tell me who I fight. I am Partia, and who are you? I am Tulag of the Arkit. I am sure you have heard the name of our clan in the epics of the steppe. We carry the name of one of the ten sons of the great she-wolf, mother of the Kuzates. I am lord of Mysia, Seronia, and Ortengard. I know your name. I hear you took Erzinur Castle. That thing haunts me. I've got you cornered. Yield or we shall attack. Balance of power says we're relatively even. I don't know how much I believe that. We'll fight to our last drop of blood. I, yeah, I don't know how this is going to work out for us, folks. Let's try it. <laughs> Let's try it. All right. Let's see if we can't. Oh my God, this is also a terrible kind of a situation, isn't it? Go into a shield wall. Let's get y'all like that. Let's get you following me, and let's get our low-tier infantry back there. Hopefully we can make quick work of the enemy here. Cavalry's with me. I'm pretty badly hurt already, so I have to be extra careful. I, I, I worry about this battle. I worry about this battle a lot. Oh, buddy over here's taking his chances with the javelin, I think. In we go, in we go. Ah, oh, come on. All right, at least our uh, cavalry buddies have come through. If we can't do something ourselves as well. A little bit of damage, a little bit of damage, not bad. Loop back around. Come on now. Oh my god, here they come. They did not wait. They did not wait. Let's keep falling back. Our archers should be able to make quick work of them, as long as we give our archers a chance to. And there are a lot of shields on that other side, but, uh... 
let's see what we can do. Are you guys up? Okay, there we go. Messing up my orders a little bit. Hopefully our archers will get to work now. Firing away. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, we're taking some bad hits. We're delivering some too. Excellent. Oh, wow. Our archers are getting a lot of work done, actually. That's great to see. That's great to see. You can tell I'm a little thrown off. <laughs> Potentially. All right, here they come. Our archer, our, our infantry is facing the wrong direction. Go ahead and charge in. Let's go. And we go. Archers are getting some work done. You know what? I need to shut down their archers back there. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. If I can just even scare them off, right? Like force them to move around, right? That's enough. There we go. We're doing okay, I think. I think we're doing okay. Charge this man down. Ah, I just missed him. Down he goes. Excellent. I don't mind just ramming into people either. That works just fine for me. Our archers are actually getting a lot of work done. Wow. And that's quite pleasing to the eye. Down goes a Sturgeon Archer. Good stuff. Oh, we've taken a lot of damage, though. We've taken so much damage here. And we're going to take some more right now. Come on. Where are our troops? Where are our men? Just our archers stand? Enemies are fleeing already? No way. No way. Alright. Let's do as much damage as we can, right? Let's do as much damage as we can. Come on now. Come on now. Unfortunately, I think all my cavalry has been basically demolished. So I don't have that cavalry support right now coming with me. Oh, come on. There we go, finally. Need to get some more kills in here, otherwise this army is just going to walk away freely. I have to make them pay. There we go. Now he's going to get away from me. Keep killing, man. Keep killing. It's not over yet. I need a better sword or something. This is... I mean, I'm going pretty slowly, actually, to be fair. And some of these guys are decently armored, I guess. Oh, we have some cavalry. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I'd love to charge into one and just, like, kill them with a the charge. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. There we go. Nice. Another one down. There's... Ah, I didn't kill him. Got that guy, though. Wanted to make room for my art, my uh, cavalry buddy there. Keep looping around. I don't know if you can tell, but the fatigue is strong right now. <laughs> the battle fatigue is very real right now. All right, man. That's the battle. Drop them. Come on, drop them for me. Ah, okay, fair enough. They did their best. They did their best. Gained a lot more renown, influence, and morale again. Adram's party did quite well. Mine, how did mine do? As badly hurt as it is. You know what? 71 kills is not terrible. It's not terrible. All right. Oh. And do we get any important prisoners? Afraid not. Siga has been taken prisoner by Valdim. Cool. Gained some influence. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Uh, do we take these prisoners on? I've got so many I need to dump. I don't need these troops. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. We're good, we're good. All right. Onwards. Oh, right, of course. There's more uh, stuff as well. Let's just pick it all up for now. I just need to clear this area. Get to Erzanur. Drop the prisoners off. They're slowing us down a fair bit. 0.67 is a lot. That's no joke. And we get attacked again. Tulag, why? Why must you do this to me? Yes, we fight. This isn't exactly how I expected the day to go. And there's Hurunag as well with 102. I don't know if we're going to be able to get away from him. This is terrifying. Archers! Archers, lose formation, pull you back over here. Infantry into a shield wall, please. Cavalry. You gotta charge in right away. 
All right, let's see what we can do. This is actually kind of scary, I'm not going to lie. Because again, my health is still pretty low. If our archers can't get work done, then we'll be in, in a degree of trouble. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. But hopefully our men will, will be smart about this situation. It's only a matter of time. Asterite archers getting some work done. Murdering some Kozate nomads. They got some archers back there as well. This really shouldn't be an issue. Morale will have dropped significantly. But if we can just... I mean, they're whittling us down. That's the thing. They're whittling us down. And they're slowing us down too. Because every battle we get engaged in keeps us disorganized. Come on, men. I believe in you. I believe in you. I've led you for this many days so that you can take on these smaller battles yourself. They're just like looters. Less than you. Good work. Uh, I think it's over. Yeah, it is. I wouldn't mind seeing all their uh, cavalry get wiped out, if I'm completely honest. Oh, man. <laughs> these battles. These seemingly endless battles. I think we can call it a battle over here. I mean, again, there's a couple of them left. Ow, I guess we might as well wait. How long am I willing to wait? A lot of our men are just celebrating. Our cavalry, I think, are still giving chase. Nah, let's just call it. Let's just call it. <laughs> I need a little bit of peace. Touch of renown and influence and all that. This was not so much of a battle, but again, from like a tactical perspective for, for them, and we're making a lot of money, which is nice. Tulag has been taken prisoner. Excellent. Still pretty badly hurt. Yes, I'm aware we're over the limit. All these prisoners are likely just going to escape. Let's be honest with ourselves. I need to pull back. Pull down south. Straight down south. Let's go. Yeah, see, that, that army is closing the gap really quickly. There's no way we're getting away from it. What is their speed? Like, three point something? If I were to drop all my prisoners, we'd be at 1.8. Now might be the time to disband. Because I'm so badly hurt, I just have to send the troops into this battle. I can't even fight it myself. What do we got going on over here? A couple of level ups. All right, you know what? We'll, 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 we'll leave that for later. I really got to figure out. I think I... If we disband right now, everybody goes their own ways, we pick up some speed, we might make it out alive. We've done our damage. I think it's time. Scatter to the winds. Need to get out of here. There we go. That was definitely the right call. No one got caught out of position. We're going to lose Erzinur Castle, but, um... But we caused a lot of damage. We caused a lot of damage en route to doing that. 26 wounded, hopefully we'll heal soon. If I can get back home, I can recruit some new troops. Heal those that have uh, been hurt. Gilman left the kingdom, why? Oh, I've been meaning to get rid of these prisoners as well. They probably all escaped. Oh, there's a castle right there, leave. Also, I don't want to deal with the uh, Southern Empire. At Tarazi. Oh man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wow, that was, um... I mean, we inflicted damage. We inflicted damage. They still have a bit of an advantage over us, but we inflicted damage. Recuperating. We're feeling okay. Erzunur Ca Castle is being assaulted. No surprise there. Hopefully, um, we'll at least cause enough damage. Oh, we actually have enough prisoners. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, you know, we've got quite a few prisoners, actually. Zayt Noble's son, you'll join us. Everybody else can go. Everybody else can go. He was worth quite a bit. All right, we're going to wait here for some time. Try and recover a touch. Just like, even mentally, if I'm completely honest. Valdim is attacked near Geraden. Where is that? Oh, man. 
Stay safe, Valdim. Stay safe. He's been captured. Oh. Stay safe, I said. Making some good money off of our uh, investment, so there's that. Man. All right. We are almost fully healed. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've actually got. I mean, at least you, we can level you up a little bit. We have no Mamluk Heavy Cavalry left. We we lost a lot. Oh, no, we do have some. Did this just get rejigged? There we go. I guess they were recently upgraded as opposed to old troops. Tribesmen, some skirmishers, archers. We lost quite a few. Lots of master archers left still. I kind of want to do a tally of like side by side how much we had versus how much we've left. We're left with. Oh my god, how how do they remain so much stronger than us? I mean, I know how. I have to be recruiting. And to go wherever I can to pick up some troops. Now this close to the front, I don't know if I'll have the chance to pick anybody up. Yeah, these guys have all been emptied. I had to pull further back and see if uh, maybe closer to our own holdings we can get somebody. That, please, thank you. Baldwin has escaped, good for you. There's Adram, I can speak to him, but I don't think I have enough money for that. Nope, I think I think Adram actually beat me to it. Let's keep recruiting. We have to go on a massive recruiting drive right now. We can't just remain a weak uh, link. Get anything we can get. Push into Hubiar over here, see if we can't get some more troops. Oh my god, it's all been emptied out, eh? Makes sense, obviously. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Got something here, at least. Again, I'll take whatever I can get. We need to rebuild our uh, our strength. Where were we at? We were at like 91 or something, right? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 94 is our limit, but that's a recent increase from our stewardship going up. Cool. Pick up everybody. Let's go. I wouldn't mind getting some higher tier. In fact, ah, this is this is why you need to do quests. <laughs> so you can get access to higher tier troops sooner. Do quests, empty out um, bandit uh, hideouts and stuff like that. At least we're moving very fast. At least we're moving very fast. I don't know why I'm not just clicking recruit all. Jostled by those battles. I was so sure we were going to die. So sure we're going to die. What are we looking at? Alright, we're catching up. That successful siege of theirs is uh is just the one they did to take back Erzinur Castle, so I'm not too fussed about that. Right, he's picked up his recruit, so I'm not gonna be able to. Oh no, okay, I can pick some up. That's good. Mom look regular among them, so that's promising. Let's keep moving. I should get up to Epicrotia as well. Or if not Epicrotia, then Maranath. I gotta, I gotta do the, um, the main quest as well. Let's not forget. All right, where to next? Go up over here. See if we can't pick up some more. Kind of want to loop back. I don't know if I'm ready to go to the front again, though. Is the thing. I don't know if I'm just quite ready to go into the front immediately. Again, considering the composition of our army right now, numbers are one thing, but um, numbers aren't everything. Numbers are certainly not everything. Now, we have a lot of money as well, actually, which we might look to uh, spend on other things than just recruiting troops. And, of course, we can again raise an army. Now, unfortunately, everyone is fairly weakened right now. We could join another army as well. If, like, Unki, or someone is up to something. Like, there is, what, Talas has created an army all the way up over here. It's all the way up over here. I don't know what he's thinking. I don't know what he's planning. But hopefully something wise. Let's head to Kasira, see if we can't uh, recruit anything there. And if we're going to go up to join Talas, then maybe we should buy some things to trade up there. You know, further our wealth before um, before joining in. Um... Recruit troops, right? From 87 to 95. That's our cap. Okay. 
Now, if we can find some looter bands that are decently sized to train our men against, that would be great. And honestly, I think our front line is mostly low tier units right now. If I'm not mistaken, we have some Imperial Legionaries, some Asurai Skirmishers, some Imperial Trained Infantrymen, and some Asurai Footmen. Okay, we have a little bit here and there, but it's mostly low tier troops. Mostly. Yikes. Kind of wild to be in this position. But I mean, it's bound to happen eventually, right? Getting involved in such a massive battle. Diathema is taken. No way. No way. I don't know what the purpose of that is, but hey, good for you, buddy. Well done. Let's go ahead and vote. Get our voice heard. Perhaps gain some favor with me. I mean, if you want. No, no, no. I, I don't want something so far off. I want something closer to my actual lands. Thais, you have my axe, my sword, my lance, my horse, everything. Banu Habab doesn't like us, but so be it. Banu Kild loves us. And remember, Banu Kild is fairly influential. Fairly influential. I, I can also look into, uh, you know, again, this is just a matter of you click and you increase your relations. Oh, by two. I always thought it was by one. And you click. And there we go, by one. So it's just a way to improve relations with these people. Uh, so when we go in to talk about dowries and stuff like that, in theory, it should help. I don't know if it actually does, if I'm completely honest. But um, we'll, we'll, we'll tackle that when we, when we get to it. Nkid has created an army around Tasheba, which is kind of close to us. You know what? We join. We join. In for a penny, in for a pound, right? The Sultan requires our support. We've helped in this war already. We might as well continue to help in whatever way we can. And again, it might be an opportunity to harden some of the boys that we've uh, recruited, right? Nothing quite like a straight-up war to do that for you. Unkid's still around here. Fair enough. I can't recruit any more soldiers. I've got food for many days, but perhaps I could pick some more up en route. Lots of desert horses to be picked up. You know what, actually? Why not? We've got so much money. They'll speed us up. Pick up some more food en route as well. Money has become a bit of a non-issue right now, which is excellent. Making a good bit of money every day. Go ahead and buy Asurai horse here, some desert horses as well. Don't mind if I do. Your grain, your butter. It's for the war. It's important. Worth it. Trader Caravans will come through and they'll... They'll surely get their uh, food delivered to them. Ooh, hello, 31 looters. Chase them down. I could just auto-resolve this. Surrender or die, brigand. I don't intend to take you alive. Taking a bit of a risk with the auto-resolve, but I'm a little battled out, I'm going to be honest. Four lost. Asrai recruit and an Asrai skirmisher. God. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Shouldn't have done that. Take the prisoners. Keep the recruits, keep the tribesmen. Skirmisher we can level up. And the Mamluk regular. Let's upgrade you as well. And the... No, they can't be upgraded. We don't have enough war horses, it seems. Alright. Already, you know, thickening the lines, so to speak. If thinning the lines is one thing, then we're thickening it. That, that's gotta be another, right? Let's keep moving. Oh, man. More food, I suppose. Eh, again, money's not really an issue. Money's a non-issue. It's more my capacity I'm worried about, but... We're basically a full army again, so I'm not too concerned about that either. Where is this army? Are you serious? You've already pulled up to Mysia? So fast. Let's see if we can't catch up. Got some more mercenaries as well. What's the balance looking like? Very even. Very even. Two successful sieges on our part, though. That's good. That's promising. That's promising. Uh, let's go ahead and check up on our holdings. we It's been a while since we've been back here. It's been a while since we've been back here, so let's go ahead and check up. Thais near there. Oh, wow, that's very close, actually, to us, so that's good. That's very good, actually. Let's go ahead and manage the castle here. All the construction stuff is done. Go ahead and continue the barracks. I don't know why it stopped. The fairgrounds as well. I don't know why it does that. And again, we can just dump a lot of money in here, right? 
we've got so much of it. I can also purchase better equipment, actually, now that I think about it. Build houses. I can purchase better equipment, and maybe... Maybe I'll have a better time in my battles if I if I do. Let's head over to uh, Kuyaz. Wow. Recruiting a lot of uh, individuals to the Asurai, aren't we? And let's see, we've got some prisoners. Let's go ahead and ransom them. And let's take a look at the equipment they've got over here. Oh man, alright. What... What to do? Am I in the, in the mind space right now? To pick up equipment. You know, one thing I do know I want is some better armor for myself. I know I want to get the, where is it, southern robe over mail. 25k, that's very expensive. But, it is very nice. 25k, a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I could give, for dinner, perhaps the southern lameller armor. 32k. And I could give Dula, let's try and get her the same thing as well. And I know that's more than I have, but I have a lot of junk here that I can just get rid of, right? Some of this junk is better than what we've uh, got right now. Some of this junk is a lot better than what we've got right now. Where are we? Go ahead and get you. I've been looking for that mod that many of you have mentioned that like highlights better quality equipment than what you've got equipped right now. But I haven't been able to find it. There's just so many mods out there right now. I've been trying to find them, but uh, if you have the link, feel free to share it in the comments. I will check it out. Um, the only thing is that YouTube might mark it as spam, uh, but I do go through my spam comments every once in a while because YouTube likes to put all kinds of comments into spam <laughs> for, for no apparent reason sometimes. All right. Partia, you're well set. Let's go ahead and maybe just dump all this and get you these. I think we're good to... Oh, fine. Let's get you these. And you're set. Yeah, I think I prefer you in the Lamello armor. Decent boots available here. I think we're good. Yeah, let's go ahead and dump. There you go. Lots of money made. Maybe too much money made. I should be a bit more wary of that. Lots of weapons as well over here that we could dump off. Hardened Glaive. I've been told to use the Glaive because it's a pretty devastating weapon. It's been suggested to me to use the Glaive instead of um, the Lance. One-handed polearm. I don't know if this is the, the very Glaive that's been, that has been suggested to me. Doesn't seem to be. It can't be. It's not. It's not that powerful looking. A lot of garbage weapons as well that we can just dump, or we can spend the time, of course, to smelt some of the stuff down. Ooh, that's looking like a nice weapon. Little less swing damage. But that swing speed is a lot better. Rusty fine steel saber. How does that make sense? Rusty and fine. Rusty Eastern Straight Saber. I don't know how I feel about that Rusty designation, you know? I, I guess we could dump most of this, if not all of it. I mean, I, I can, of course, check on uh, some of our friends here as well. Or I could just hold on to this for now, see if I can't find better prices elsewhere. Like, far up in the north, where it seems like the war is headed. Maybe. Maybe. We're, we're, we're doing enough right now, so I've got my Southern Lamella armor for Dula and for Fridina, and then from Alkyria, she's kind of being left behind. I feel bad for her. Um, I wonder if we can't pick up some of the armor we just sold, or that we're just about to sell, and hand it to her instead. We'll just give her something better in general. She's been doing okay lately, though, I think. And if she sticks with the horse archers, for the most part, she'll be fine. That's fine. And of course, myself, I've got the Southern Robe over Mail, which should hopefully keep us somewhat alive. I might be able to get some better shoulder things for myself, though. Or an eastern studded shoulder. Oh yeah, that's seemingly significantly better. That looks a lot better, I would say. Matches a lot better with the aesthetic and everything. Sure. And the woven leather shoulders we can give to Dula. 
frontliners, right? They kind of need that extra armor. All right, good stuff. I mean, I could look at some other helms. In fact, oh, I've already got the Emir's helmet. I forgot about. I forgot that I managed to afford that at one point. Cool. Let's go ahead and dump that money. Again, we could buy maybe some more food and stuff over here. Fish is again pretty cheap. So sure. Go ahead and do that. Let's make our way north. Let's make our way north. Well, actually, sorry. Unkid is up there, but Thais is down here. Thais is a lot closer, I think. Well, it's kind of 50-50. Unkid is up there, Thais is down there. I gotta make a decision on who to join. I guess Unkid makes sense. Join our Sultan, right? Well, let's go. Oh, man. Still quite a few of our wounded are healing. That's okay. They can heal on the way over. We don't have to wait. Oleg has escaped. I'm just keeping an eye on the war situation. Hopefully this war will come to an end soon. Hopefully this war will come to an end soon. It's been going on for long enough. But it almost certainly won't. Unless just consider these numbers are way too evenly matched. You know, way too evenly matched. These looters over here provide a bit of a juicy target. We'll have to fight this one. Surrender or die, brigand. As much as I'd like to auto-resolve it, as we saw, decent tier units can be wiped out with uh, basically no hesitation. Chill in a loose formation. Man, our army... Well, you know what, actually? Our cavalry isn't looking too bad. Our cavalry is not looking too bad. Our infantry up a little bit. And we'll let them have some fun. We could also send our cavalry in. Bring them over to the side over here. They'll get some rear charges afterwards. Right? And what about our horse archers? Get you off to the side over here. Noble Sun getting some work done. Our archers are firing away. And they come. Javelins being flung, it seems, in a moment. There we go. And let's get the charges going in. Before they start running away, right? I want to make sure I get the charges in. And our cavalry will chase after the uh, mainline engagements are done. Come on now. Come on, man. All right, cool. They're giving up. Charge. Let's go. Let's go. Chase them down. Finish them off. And <laughs> our archers have done quite a bit of work as well. Our archers have done a lot of work throughout this entire session. Throughout this entire session. Is our banner on the ground over here? What's that about? Someone else should pick it up. Alkyria is getting some work done as well. There's... Where are they? I don't see... I feel like we've done well enough, I guess. Sure. Let's call it there. <laughs> Let's call it there. One wounded. An Asurai recruit. Quite a few leveled up. Alkyria and Ferdinand leveled up. That's always nice to see as well. And the Kosaic Noble Sun is leveled up too. All right. Freedom from captivity. You should be grateful. A couple of looters taken as prisoners. Get you on horseback. Let's get you leveled up as well. And our noble son. Yes. Upgrade you too. All right. More garbage loot that we can just sell. Um, and yeah, let's continue making our way over to Unkid. Three looters is fine. We don't need to worry ourselves with them. We really do have to level up our uh, our army, though. We also have to level up ourselves. I really have to consider, actually, my options here. Under pole arm, I guess there is only one extra HP, so let's go ahead and take that. Might want to focus on it a bit when the opportunity comes. And under stewardship, oh. Plus two to party size for each fief you own, or parties and armies you lead move faster. And yeah, that would have kind of come in handy in uh, earlier this session, wouldn't it? Kind of would have come in handy. Let's go with the uh, increased party size. I feel like that's a bit more fitting for what Partia has kind of been aspiring to be all along. Let's go for it. Anybody else leveled up that we can spec? Doesn't seem to be the case. Frida and I is able to focus somewhere, though. Question is, where do we make her focus? 
perhaps riding. Her two-handed is capped out already. You know what? Let's uh I mean let's see. Dula is our two-handed kind of expert. Ferdina is a bit more middle of the road. It could up her riding, I suppose. It's hard hard picking. Hard picking. Alright, you know what? Let's go with the two-handed. Oh, wow. That did nothing. That did nothing. I gotta reassign myself as well, don't I? Yeah, gotta get you Bannerlord and the extra HP, which would come in handy. Dula is fine for dinner. You know what? We'll leave for now for later. I need to think a little bit about how I want to spec her. I want to uh, guide her growth, so to speak. A couple people need leveling up, but again, we're holding off so we can level them up in larger numbers at once. Unkeed still up at Mysea. Probably putting it under siege. It's a long way away. Let's make sure that we don't uh, get into trouble on our way over, right? Let's make sure we don't get into trouble on our way over. Oh, hello. Unkeed's army is right here. Why are you Why are you red? Who are we at war with now? Okay. I thought we just joined another war, because their flag is purple, but I guess it's just with the minor faction. Uh, let's go ahead and join up with Unkid. Join our Sultan. And continue with them. And again, we can kind of feed them and stuff if necessary when they start to starve. What is this? A vote for land tax. All right. Let's see what the people say here. So land tax. 5% of village income is paid to the ruler clan as tax. I do not like that. 5% less village income for clans. It's a 50-50 split. Adram unfortunately supports this proposal. Hey, Alice, I guess I'm with you on this one. Spend a fair bit of influence. We've got a fair bit of it. We'll have to uh, curry favor with Adram in a different way. Hopefully this swings our way. Nope. Still a positive relationship. It's okay. Because again, we can kind of just speak to them like this. Wow, Falenthes, what happened to you? What did you do? Oh, they're a recent addition, aren't they? They must have made a silly mistake. Adram. We'll still get along. There you go. Nice and easy. Helps our charm as well, which is kind of funny. Alright, once more to the front we go. Yeah, this is a this is an interesting way as well, again, to, to train our uh, troops, of course. And we are, it seems, already sharing food. We have enough days worth of food, I think, that... Uh, We'll be able to sustain the army in at least one siege, but we'll probably have to pick up some more food eventually en route. Eventually. And yeah, I guess we're headed to Mysia. To besiege. If we can get it, that'd be great. I'm not going to complain. We're moving so slowly, though. 1.8. And if we take a look at the situation again, evenly matched. Like, pretty evenly matched, I would say. Successful siege is two for two. Did they take back um, the Athma? Indeed, they did. That's the thing. We're overextending. We're overextending. We're going in multiple directions and just spreading our uh, our armies too thin. I think it's a serious problem. Thankfully, we're making good money and uh, making good influence as well. So all the all the core requirements we're getting enough of, and Mysia is right around the corner. Mysia is right around the corner, so we're almost there. We can sell some of our grain and stuff. I don't know if I want to and or need to, if I'm completely honest. Again, money is looking fine. Kanujan, Thaslur, pretty small armies over here. But again, we have to be wary of the potential threat of a big army being, like, just outside our vision, right? Wow. Kuzate and Asurai made peace. Wow. Wow. What a session, folks. What a session. What a chapter this was. We will leave the army now. No need to continue on with Unkid. We can continue on our quest. We're actually quite close up north. Uh, we can push into Epicrotia or Marunath, maybe make a decision uh, you know, depending on how all this just went down. 
but this is where we're going to call it a chapter. In the far north, again, the bitter cold. Maybe we look to improving relations with the uh, Kuzate for a little while. It's unfortunate we had to lose Erzanur Castle. That was uh, maybe a foolish endeavor, but, uh, you know, if we hadn't been there, then that thousand-strong army might have swept down south, taken Razi, taken Hubiar, and put us on the back foot. I think it is, in part, the moves that we made, that our army made, that really helped conclude this... Uh, this war in a somewhat, I guess, favorable way. It's a stalemate, really. It's a stalemate. But I'd rather a stalemate than defeat. If you enjoyed this session, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below, folks. It always makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for support on the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, I bid you farewell.